ever wondered how uber tracks every ride netflix streams your favorite show without a glitch or linkedin updates your feeds instantly all in real time without breaking under pressure behind the scenes these companies run insanely robust data pipelines built for scale and built to survive failures in this video we are breaking down exactly how to build real time data pipelines that are not just fast but resilient fault tolerant and highly available we will talk about the common failures core architectural patterns real world examples from netflix uber and linkedin and even do a quick hands on demo with kafka and flink let's dive in hi there welcome to tech and career bites I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product-based organization. Here is the reality: distributed systems fail, and data pipelines they fail in the most fascinating ways. Nodes crash, networks get flaky, systems get overwhelmed, and slow consumers bring everything to a halt. and if you are running fraud detection live recommendations or operational dashboards downtime is not an option the goal build a system that can fail gracefully recover fast and never lose data that is what we call high availability and that is what we are building today so what does high availability actually mean high availability is not just about uptime it's about how quickly you recover from failure how much data you can afford to lose and designing systems where downtime is a rare edge case in real time systems even a few seconds delay can mean a fraud not getting flagged a user dropping off or millions of events piling up in your queues now let's break down how the pros actually design these pipelines first up implement redundancy and replication start with the basics replicate everything kafka pulsar kinesis they all support partition and broker level replication if one broker dies your data is still safe and with write ahead logs you get durability even before processing begins second step design for failure add failover and auto recovery so when a node dies your system does not systems like kafka and flink use leader election to ensure continuity and kubernetes absolute life saver pods are restart automatically failed nodes get replaced and you can scale up with one line of yaml now let's talk about fault tolerant processing because in real time systems failure is not just likely it is expected apache flink takes periodic snapshots of your processing state if anything fails it just rewinds to the last checkpoint and continues like nothing happened that's stateful recovery done right last but not least load balancing and back pressure handling netflix built their streaming architecture to handle insane spikes by reacting to back pressure and auto scaling flink jobs using kubernetes the lesson never let slow consumers choke the pipeline monitor lag and auto scale intelligently now let's look at how the tech giants build this stuff uber handles billions of events a daily rider location payments trips all streaming in real time they use kafka for ingestion flink for etl and apache hudi for lake storage how do they achieve high availability through multi availability zone clusters and exactly once processing linkedin powers dashboards and feed insights using apache pino they rely on kafka and flink to steam events then query pino with millisecond latency 
data is replicated, jobs are checkpointed, and Pinot recovers instantly from node failures. Netflix uses a to capture real time viewing data and fling to process it. With checkpoints stored in S3, failures are just hiccups. They recover instantly. Oh, and their deployments canary based for safe rollouts. All right. Let's build a quick and dirty high availability pipeline using Kafka and Flink. Step one. Set up a Kafka topic with three times replication. Step two, enable Flink checkpointing. Step three, simulate failure. Kill one Kafka broker. Observe leader re-election and continued consumption. Kill a Flink task manager. Flink reassigns a task. Job continues from last checkpoint. That's real world high availability. It is not about avoiding failure. It is about embracing it and bouncing back. So here is what we learned today. HA is not just a fancy term. It is a survival skill for real-time systems. Replicate everything. Monitor everything. Recover fast. Use proven tools. Kafka, Flink, Kubernetes. And design with failure in mind. This is how the big players stay online 24 by 7. And you can too. Got your own strategies for building HA pipelines? Drop them in the comments. I would love to hear what's working for you. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel for more such interesting tech topics. Do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, coding, big data, and career growth. My name is Rupa and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.